Welcome to episode 22 of Pinoy Podcast. You are listening to the G and Shandala Show. We are live Monday to Saturday, 7 to 9 p.m. Manila time, 7 to 9 a.m. New York time. Chat with us and listen live on PinoyPodcast.com slash live. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, SoundCloud, Blog Talk Radio, MySpace, and YouTube. I'm G, broadcasting from New Jersey, and here's my partner, Shandala, from the Philippines. Good morning, Shandala. Good evening, Shandala. Good morning, G. Good evening. How are you? How are you? I'm good. Just got home from work, and how are you? I'm okay. Kagigising ko lang. Actually, I just had shower, and um, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to rock and roll. It's Monday. Yeah, it's Monday. And G, can I take this opportunity to take to thank my my followers on on FB? Sure, sure, yeah. Yes, yeah, so I would just like to thank all the two hundred fifteen people who like the Chandela page. I was overwhelmed. Wow, From Ottawa, that's a lot. Yeah, all age bracket. Like in three days, I had 215 likes, and they are very um, friendly and engaged in the conversation. They have watched the, uh, the the past episodes, and they said good luck and have fun. Wow, I'm so happy to hear that. Yeah, yeah like you talked about 215 likes. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Alam mo, that will grow. I. I think you're gonna g- get a thousand likes in like one week. Oh, that's too much. Yeah, yeah. So, congratulations and um, yeah. Oh, thanks for liking Chandler's page, and uh, you're gonna hear more from her as we go on, and you can uh, listen to her live every day here mm-hmm. on Pinay Podcast. Yes. Galing, galing, galing. Thank you, G. No problem, Shandela. This is hey. your show. So what are we going to talk about tonight? Well, the topic today is about dealing with difficult people. Uh-huh. And I think in Filipino, ang ibig sabihin nun ay um, paano mo, paano ka makikipag-ugnayan sa mga taong mahirap, ang kaus- mahirap kausap. Okay, Mahira Unless you have a different translation. Um, dealing with difficult people. Eh, ito yung mga tao na, that burst your bubbles? Yeah, that burst your bubbles na pwedeng sirain ng araw mo. Yeah. Or pwede kang pahirapan. Uh, they could make easy tasks difficult for you. Like, yeah. instead na pwede mong mag- matapos ang isang bagay na madali at mabilis, eh, gagawin nilang komplikado. Mm-hmm. Yan ang mga taong we call difficult people. Yeah. And it's really an art. You know, it's an art. It's yeah, a science. It, yeah. it takes patience and you have to deal with this systematically. Yes. And... Ano ba sa Filipino ang difficult people? Ang una kong naisip yung uh, mahirap kausap o ano ba ang tamang salita sa Tagalog or Filipino? Um, mahirap pakitunguhan, mahirap pakibagayan. Yeah, mahirap pakibagayan, mahirap ka- kasama, mahirap pakisamahan, mahirap yes. kausap. Yes. At sigurado ako, yung mga nakikinig sa atin ngayon, meron silang mas matinding salita na hindi, hindi natin pwedeng sabihin sa ere. Yes. <laughs> okay, so, before we continue, um, 
let me also invite them to visit our social accounts. Yes. So they can connect with us. So guys, meron kaming YouTube channel. Meron kaming Twitter account. Also, we are on SoundCloud. Mm-hmm. We are on MixCloud. And we are currently broadcasting live using Spreaker.com. And we are also using Skype to connect with each other. Uh, I'm in uh, the USA, Chandler is in the Philippines, so we use Skype. So, yes. in the event na makaroon ng poor reception, uh, you would understand that. Kasi minsan, uh, mahina yung connection ni Shandala. Minsan, mahina yung connection ko. Or something happens in between. So, uh, we just uh, would like you to know na we are using Skype right now. Hindi po kami magkasama sa studio ni Shandala. We are worlds apart. <laughs> <laughs> we are 12 hours apart. <laughs> yeah. But due to the wonders of technology, uh, this is very possible. Yes. So. So yeah, uh, this is a very timely topic. Because uh, on on the weekend, uh, Shandala and I and and myself were talking about. Ano ba maganda pag-usapan sa Monday? Because wala pa kami topic for today. So ang naisip na. I mean, eh, total Monday, start ng work week and sigurado ako sa workplace, meron kayong mga kasama sa trabaho, sa opisina na medyo mahirap kausap, ma- mahirap pakisamahan or what we call difficult people. Shandla, have you had, uh, I mean, have you worked before with difficult people? Yes, yes. Actually, um, you know what? She turned out to be my best friend. She became your best friend? Yeah. Wow, that's interesting. Yes. Are you free to uh, tell us the story? or? Yeah, her name is okay. Annie Salazar. Hi, Ati Annie. In case no, one day you listen to this. We, we worked before for a local government unit. And um, she was like jealous because she was the reign of the Okay. And I came in. Alam mo yun talagang pag dinadarag niya ako in in layman's term dinadarag niya ako sinusumitan niya ako. <laughs> Alam mo yun pag may gimmick ang office hindi niya ako isasama. Oh, yeah. sa ganung level na ha? Oo, oh, oh, ganung level na. Tapos lahat ng trabaho ko, pinapansin niya. As in, she hates me. You know what I did? Okay, what, what, what did you do? Wala siyang narinig sa akin ni isang salita. Hindi ko siya pinatulan. So, you, you totally ignored her? Or you blocked her yeah, out? I, I continued being nice to her despite... The truth mm. I am getting from her, alam mo yon. Kahit na taasan niya ako ng kilay, sinmangutan niya ako, dabugan niya ako, hinihitian mm-hmm. siya. And, alam mo yun, kumbaga parang ganun yung treatment niya sa akin, but I I asked her para her to, like, Ate Annie, let's have lunch, you wanna go with me, I'm going there, ganyan. Until one day, she finally realized, sinabi niya to sa akin nung naging magkaibigan na kami. Mm-hmm. Alam mo talagang, bilib din ako sa'yo kasi napagtsagaan mo yung ugali ko. So, napansin din niya yun? Oo. Sabi niya, nasabi daw niya sa sarili niya, wala akong mapapala sa babaeng to kung aawayin at aawayin ko rin lang. Bakit hindi ko nalang kaibiganin? Oh, what? okay. Turns Let out, me ask you. Wait, turns out. Okay, sige. Kwento ka pa, sige. Na magka-birthday pala kami. Magka-birthday kayo? Yeah. Hmm. And now we've been friends for almost like um 12 years. That's amazing. Mhm. So here's a person who gave you a difficult time when you were new in the workplace. 
Mm-hmm. And now she's your friend, and you've been friends for 12 years. Mm-hmm. Kami ngay- It's a good story. Yeah, kami yung magkaibigan na, alam mo yung kahit anong oras niya ako tawagan ka may, pag may problema siya. One time mm-hmm. pa nga, nangyari pa, you know what, she, um, my mm-hmm. mom died December. So, like, um, tumawag siya January 1. Sean, yeah. where, where are you? Sabi ko, I'm here in Valenzuela. Why? You go here sa ano? You go here sa Mega Mall. I bought two tickets for Cebu. Sabi ko, when? Now. As in ngayon? Yes, ngayon. So, wala ako nagawa. Punta ako ng Mega Mall. Kita kami doon. And punta kami ng Cebu. As in, hindi ganun yung friendship namin. Kahit anong oras. Pag nag-aaway siya ng boyfriend niya. Ako ang driver mm-hmm. niya. Alam mo yun? Punta <laughs> kami somewhere. Punta kami ng Marinduque, kung saan saan. And, ganun din siya sa akin. Whenever uh, I see her, she's always there for uh, me. Okay. I have a question for you. What? By the way, those who just came in and listened, uh, we are talking about, the topic is how to deal with difficult people. This is Gian Chandela on the Night Podcast. Okay, my question to you is, um, Tinanong mo ba siya kung bakit kanya pinahirapan nung bago ka pa lang sa opisina? Um, yes, I did. And she told me na kasi, ano yun eh, puro lalaki yung op- opisina namin eh. Siya lang yung nag-iisang babae doon. So parang rain na nga siya doon eh. Oh, oh, she felt threatened by your arrival. Yeah, she's threatened by my presence. And you actually have a very strong presence. Siguro nga ganon kasi magka-birthday kami and halos hindi nagkakalayo yung edad namin. So parang alam mo yon pareho na malakas na personali- personality nag-clash. Alam mo yon And she's been working for how long when you first came in? Oh, she's been there since she was a teenager. So that was her territory? Yes. This is my were kinda... parang ganun. This is my turf. Yeah, this, that's her turf. And you were kind of, uh, you know, encroaching on her turf. Yes. So, it that that never came up as a topic between the two of you, like, uh, in any discussion? About what? Yung pagpapahirap niya sa akin? Yeah, oo. Oo, pinag-usapan namin yan, lahat. So, yeah. yun nga, sabi nga niya na, para ang nung, nung later on na na-realize niya na wala talaga siyang napapala sa akin. Mhm. Nga uh, ibang klase to. Ni ko <laughs> mabait o martir o tanga o gaga or what? <laughs> Hindi talaga ako pinatulan. Kaibiganin ko na lang. Eh nung kinaibigan niya ako, doon niya na-realize na I can be a good friend pala. Mhm. Mhm. So, yung approach mo sa kanya na hindi mo siya pinatulan, mm-hmm. hindi ka nawala ng cool. Mm-hmm. Did this, I mean, is this something na nabasa mo sa libro or it just came to you na hindi ko dapat gawin ito? Uh, unang-una, hindi ko yan nabasa sa kahit anong pang libro. Mm-hmm. hindi titip ng kahit na sino man sa akin. Mm-hmm. Um, naisip ko lang yun kasi nasa isang working environment kami. Kung papatulan ko siya, hindi kami makakapagtabaho ng maayos. So, common sense ang ginamit mo? Yes. Parang for me, okay, I mean, we just met. Um, hindi talaga kita kilala. I don't know why you're like this to me wala akong kasalanan sa iyo or anything kung naiinis ka man sa akin kung how i look or how i talk how i dress or how i carry myself then that's your problem already mm-hmm. para sa akin basta ako i'm not doing anything wrong with you at kung ganyan pa rin yung treatment mo sa akin you know sabi nga nila misery loves company i, I didn't let that you know thing drag me down yeah misery loves company That's, yeah. that's, that's very true. But did, uh, did it ever come to a point na 
talagang gusto mo na siyang patulan na talagang napipikon ka na mga ganun doon? Alam mo, surprisingly, no. Didn't entered my mind. Parang, parang sa akin po nga, parang I think her kasi parang oh, saan galing to? Saan galing tong ganun tong attitude? Saan to mm-hmm. nagpula? May pinagsimulan ba to? May nangyari ba sa nakaraan na ganito rin at ina-apply niya sa akin? Or nung bago ba siya sa opisinang yung ginanon din siya? So it's payback time at ako yung nandun? Okay, my next question to you is, um, did anybody warn you about that? Yung bago ka pa lang sa office? Um, walang nag-warning sa akin but I was like asking people na yung, yung mga tao sa office na, is she really like that? Um, sabi lang nila sa akin, hayaan mo yan, ganyan lang talaga sa umpisa yan. Pero mabait yan. Pag nahuli mo yung loob hmm. yan, mabait yan si Annie. So, they really know na ganun siya? Yeah. Na parang ganun lang siya sa mga baguhan. Ano mo, parang <laughs> right. testing din the character, kung kaya siya. I can relate to that. Mm-hmm. Kasi, some people na difficult people really have a reputation. Mm-hmm. It's like they, they're known for that. Mm-hmm. Whether it's in the workplace, at school, I mean, even sa bahay, or sa ating family, meron tayo mga kapamilya, mga katrabaho, kaklase, na talagang meron silang reputation na medyo mahirap ka usap, mahirap ka deal, at, um, or what we call difficult people. Mm-hmm. Like nung ako, nung bago ako dito sa Amerika, of course, uh, I came from the Philippines, I came here when I was uh, like 29, so, mahirap talaga mag-adjust, and alam mo naman dito sa Western culture, prangka ang mga tao, di ba? Yes. So, Yeah, prank ang mga tao. Tapos, uh, galing pa ako sa kultura na medyo mas mababait ang mga tao, like sa Philippines. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And when I came here, I, I was really culture shock. I mean, it was very competitive. Mababait ang mga tao dito, dito sa, sa aming lugar, dito sa, sa New Jersey. Although, New Jersey talaga ay is a very toxic place, kumbaga, dahil uh, life is very fast here. So, ito ako, 29 years old, galing sa Philippines, walang trabaho, and then, so nag- nag-apply ako ng trabaho. Nakahanap naman ako, nakahanap ako ng trabaho within uh, like one month. Okay? Mm-hmm. And then, nakapagtrabaho ako sa isang uh, office na ang company owner is Filipino, si doctor. So, but merong ano doon, merong isang empleyado. Actually, ano siya eh, para siyang manager. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Alam mo, ang hirap niyang katrabaho kasi nagmumura okay. sa opisina. Araw-araw. Araw-araw. Okay. So, bago, bago ka pa pumasok sa opisina, na-stress ka na. Alam mo yung feeling na yun? <laughs> yeah, ano ko ito lang sa mato. Pakita ko na naman to Parang ganon. <laughs> Ay, parang parang traumatic na ba sa'yo yung pumasok sa opisina kasi alam mo, ito na naman ang ma-experience mo. Mm-mm. Hindi naman niya ako tinatarget eh, pero talaga bad trip lang siya kahit anong araw. Bad trip siya kahit anong, anong mangyari. <laughs> parang ato na masaya siya. <laughs> <laughs> Oo, parang kakambal niya yung ano eh, kakambal niya yung kabad trip pa eh, alam mo yun. Uh, Jimmy, tanong ako, lalaki ba oh. to? Babae. Ah, babae. Baka naman ano to, um... Alam mo yon hindi siya masaya sa married life niya. She's not married. Ilang taon na? She's around 40s and medyo ano siya. Alam mo yung babaeng uh, medyo astig pumo- kumilos. Alam mo yon yung... Medyo, medyo boyish? Medyo boyish. Tapos, um, hindi ko lang ma-discuss yung gender preference niya. Pero, uh, uh, I cannot really tell kung ano yung kung ano ba siya kung uh, alam mo yon yung I love life what? wala wala eh wala Ay, wala siya so yun yung dahilan wala love life really? yeah alam mo yun yung nabuburyon ka sa buhay mo puro trabaho puro pamilya ang inaasikaso mo wala nag-aasikaso sa'yo siguro ganun na rin yun kasi um one day umuwi ako uh, inisip ko siya sabi ko ba't kaya siya ganito Diba? Ba't kaya siya ganito sa mga ibang tao sa opisina? Uh, 
So, inisip ko yung... Kasi nagkakwento naman siya eh, sa tugol sa buhay niya habang nagtatrabaho kami, pagkausap niya yung ibang tao. So, kinikwento niya yung nangyayari sa bahay nila. So, do- doon ko naiintindihan kung saan nanggagaling yung ganong attitude niya. Mm-hmm. So, kung meron kayong kasama sa opisina na difficult people, you should take time to really study them, you know, know a bit about them so you know where they're coming from and i know g uh siguro dapat sa mga ganitong tao whether sa workplace or sa family or sa 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 circle of friends mo siguro alam mo tempting talaga na tumalikod ka na lang you know pero siguro one thing you can do first is to listen pakinggan mo Yeah, I agree. Listen. Oo, pakinggan mo anong nangyayari. Uh, para encourage mo sila to to talk more kung para makita mo kung saan nanggagaling yung ganung attitude. Kasi pag naglilisten ka, mm-hmm. hindi mo sila chinuchun out. Mm-hmm. Hindi mo sila minu-mute. Kumbaga, um, you're there to listen to them. Mhm. Because if you don't listen to them, the more they will force themselves. Okay. Because they think nobody cares about them. Mm-hmm. So the best thing to do is use good, normal, active listening techniques. Mm-hmm. Gaya ng ginagawa mo sa ibang tao. So makinig ka lang. Okay. And then, you know, baka makapick up ka ng something some information na pwede kang makatulong sa kanya kasi hindi mo alam baka mayroon para sa malaking problema. Uh-huh. And? So you listen to them but don't get dragged down. Kanyang na nga nasabi mo, misery loves company. Yeah. So, kahit na nakikinig ka sa isang taong Maraming problema sa buhay. <laughs> Huwag kang magpapa hila pababa. Don't get stuck into the world of negativity. So keep your guard up. So don't get dragged down even as you listen. Okay, do you have any other incidents in the past na you have dealt with difficult people? You can join us live here on Pinoy Podcast. We are inviting you to join us in the live chat. Just go to pinoypodcast.com slash live. You can also add us on Skype. You can be a guest caller. Our Skype ID is Pinoy Podcast. Also, you can add DJ Shandala on Skype. That's DJ. DJ Dot Chandela with an H at the end. This is GN Chandela, and we're talking about difficult people. Chandela, um, meron bang time in the in your past na uh, nagresign ka dahil sa isang taong mahirap pagitunguhan sa office? Ay ako never. Hindi yan nangyare at hindi ako papaapek kasi sa mga yung klasing pangyayare. Okay, so you've never mm-hmm. had this experience na nagresign ka dahil sa isang tao? Wala, wala. Alam mo, kasi minsan, pag may mga ganyan, kunwari, um, parang, uh, lahat, parang, lahat kahit sa kapumunta, may ganyan naman talaga, di ba? Yeah, I mean, kahit saan ka magpunta, mayroon talaga. Hindi mo maiwasan yan. Yeah, so some... Kaya nga napakaraming ri- libro na ang naisulat about how to deal with difficult employees, difficult family members, friends, and well, boss, difficult boss. Siguro, kung ano rin, G, tignan mo din yung behavior mo, yung sarili mo. Baka naman you attract this kind of peoples. Peoples? <laughs> you attract this kind of people, you know, with your own action. Yeah, look at look at your circle. I mean, if 
if most of your friends are difficult people? Hindi, kasi Maybe baka you are you are uh, the same. You have to examine. You have to examine yourself. If you yeah. feel like you are being constantly uh, attacked or harassed, baka naman because of your past dramas in life, you know. So try to look at it from another person's perspective. Yeah, what what makes them become difficult towards you? Yeah. Yes. Bakit ka nila pinapahirapan? Um, uh-huh. is it something you did in the past? Mhm. Is it something you're doing right now? Or baka naman kasi, alam ko rin. Baka naman kasi sa sarili mo hindi mo nakikita na ginagawa mo pala to na nakakairita sa kanila. At minsan, meron ka pang time na wala ka pang wala ka pang ginagawa eh nainis na sa iyo kasi they worried about what you can do. Mm-hmm. Halimbawa, um, you just came you were just hired sa isang uh, office like uh-huh. you were, you, you're your manager and you have a reputation outside the company like you're known for this, you're known for that. And then there's this one person uh, who feels feels threatened by you. Kasi he knows what you can do. Like for example, you're known as a person na nag-introduce ng innovations, okay? So you, mm-hmm. you you used to belong to this company and you make you made it grow because you were introducing a lot of innovations, changes, and now you were hired by another company. And then there's there's this person in this company na feels threatened by that. Yes. So pagpasok mo pa lang sa eksena, papahirapan ka na kasi they're trying to protect their their comfort zones. Yeah. They, they see you as a threat. Even though, para sa'yo, wala ka pa man ginagawa, um, or you have the best of intentions, but to the other persons, you are a threat. You are a threat. Hindi ba, ano, G, sometimes parang, uh, what you call this? Siguro, tama bang sabihin na kapag bago ka sa opisina, wag ka muna masyadong magmagaling? Magmagaling. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think kahit sa ang sitwasyon, kahit sa, sa, sa eskwelahan, sa... Kahit saan, kahit naman sa... Nung bata pa tayo, di ba, meron tayong tinatawag na bida, pabida, di ba, yung mga kaklaseng bida. <laughs> Tingin ko... Just just do what you need to do or you have to do. Don't worry about what they're gonna say. Gawin mo yung trabaho mo, gawin mo yung tingin mo is the best for your employer, for your company. And itong mga issues na to is ano na lang yan, mga side issues na lang yan. You can deal, deal with them later. Kasi if, if you allow yourselves to be bogged down by worrying or being afraid of what what other people are gonna say behind your back, hindi ka makakapagtrabaho ng, ng mabuti. Yun ang tingin ko. Ikaw? Yeah. Kaya lang, syempre, minsan you have to test the waters. Parang, kasi dumating ka doon, magkakapalagay ang loob na sila, di ba? Tapos, bago ka. Tapos, yeah, you have to be sensitive also. Tapos, ano, ito ka, parang ang galing-galing mo. Parang natitret sila, natitreten sila na, uy, oo, parang gano'n. <laughs> diba? I think communication is very important. You have to communicate your intentions. Misa kasi, kasi kung, tingin nila sa'yo, miss you know it all ka, alam mo yun? Yeah, that could be annoying to other people. Alam mo yung, um, uh, lahat alam tapos lahat gusto niya siya ang bida alam mo yon uh, mahirap din kausap si mga taong ganun i would admit <laughs> yeah <laughs> so kung meron kang ganung personality medyo itong down mo yeah mag adjust ka sensitive. din dapat di ba yeah mag adjust ka din alam mo yon hindi yung pagpasok mo eh, eh sasagasaan mo lahat that will cause problems You have to communicate your intention. Halimbawa, you're a new manager and um, you came on board this uh, department and lahat ng tao doon is our old-timers. Ikaw lang ang bago. 
mm-hmm. and you were hired as a manager and uh, you have this personality na go 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 di ba parang let's do this pero kung hindi mo kinomin- ki- hindi mo sinabi sa kanila ang iyong intention ang iyong plano hindi nila ito matatanggap ng ganun kadali kasi walang communication pa paano mayroong mga tao na talagang ayaw makinig eh may ganun alam mo yun, yung mga matitigas sa ulo? Oo, yung tipong nakaisa ka pa lang, nakasampu na sila. <laughs> Di ba? Yeah, I know that. I know that. Um, meron ako dating uh, work na... Um, this this person is known to be really difficult. Like, uh, she, she gives everybody a hard time. And I've seen it happen, and I felt like it's not good for the department na meron ganong classing attitude ng isang tao. Kasi ang nangyayari, nagiging distraction ito para sa iba. Okay. And I think if you are bullied at work at the workplace, you, you can always have you know go go to HR and complain, right? Yes. I mean, if you know your company's policies about bullying or inappropriate behavior, you don't have to tolerate this and you know be tortured for hindi ka na makatulog dahil dito. You can always uh, go to HR, you know, review your company policies and seek uh, like a like a relief. Okay. May tawag doon eh. Pwede mong kasuhan ng not harassment eh. It's just like sa eskwelahan, kung binubuli ka, pwede kang pumunta sa principal sumbong mo. Yeah. But it's mm. different sa workplace. Oh yeah, sa workplace, of course, um, there are uh, there are many factors na kanong consider mo na possible na mawalan ito ng trabaho ang taong ito dahil sa pag-report mo. So, win-away mo rin yan. Uh, if, if you can really solve it without resorting to that um, solution or the final solution, try your best to resolve it on a personal level. Mm-hmm. Pero, Okay. If you are going to try to solve it on a personal level, like you're gonna listen to that person, pakikinggan mo talaga siya, you will give it your time. You have, you have to have a time limit, naman. Time limit. Hindi yes. naman yung uh, forever ka makikinig, di ba? Or makikinig ka sa kanya buong araw. Dapat merong time limit. Nakadrain kaya yun, di ba? Oh, masisira naman ang araw mo doon. Mm-hmm. Yung tipong pag-uwi mo, feeling mo pagod na pagod ka just by just listening to that person. Parang, ha, hindi ako natuagod sa trabaho, napagod ako sa drama ng isang yun. just ko, parang. <laughs> Kasi pag hindi mo binigyan ng limit, maabuso ka rin. Mm-hmm. Diba? Saka, parang, so you should let that person know na your time is limited. You can on- only listen up to this point, up to this time. Parang siguro like kung kung nag nagbubuo nga na siya ng ganyan, sabi mo parang can we change the topic or parang mm-hmm. hey, panood mo ba yung ano kagabi or nabalitaan mo ba yung ganun kagabi or 'di ba? Ibahin mo yung topic. O tipo, uy ang ganda ng oh, shoes mo. Ang ganda ng shoes mo niyan. Sa mo binili yan. Mga oh, mga ganun. <laughs> oh, 'di ba? Baka kasi kulang kasi if, if you let a pessimist person if you let a pessimist person take over they will they will take over because they enjoy that yes they enjoy it use use the five minute rule let mm-hmm. let them vent for five minutes uh-huh, at yes. pag nakita mo na na they're going and uh, like they're going to a different mode like downer mode <laughs> Downer mode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, so, go to the next steps, which yeah. is. Which is? Don't agree. 
Totally. Alam mo yung don't agree, yung uh, para lang mawala siya sa harap mo, eh, yes ka na ng yes. <laughs> okay. Yung tango ka ng tango, oo, oh, oo, oh, oh. yes, yes, yes. Hindi rin maganda yung ganun. So, anong gagawin mo? Kapag talagang nandun siya sa tenga mo, dal 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 Halimbawa, complaint siya ng complaint tungkol sa boss mo, yung bla 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 bla, ganun, ganun, ganun. Uh, you, you may have a tendency to just nod your head, say yes, para lang, alam mo yun, yung, so that he will feel better, she will feel better. Although harmless naman yun, they will just throw fuel to the flames. Kumbaga, gagatungan mo lang siya eh. Ah, okay. Diba? Halimbawa, complain siya ng complain, bla bla bla, ganun. Tapos, yes ka, na, yes ka ng yes. Oo ka ng oo. <laughs> Feeling mo harmless siya, di ba? Kasi uh, you agree with him or her. You are just, ano, you are just adding fuel to the fire. You are just, uh, ginagatungan mo lang siya. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, D, why don't we take a break? Then when we come back, let's talk about, you know, difficult people around the household naman. Like, for example, your okay. in-laws. Yeah. So, we'll be back. This is the G and Chandela Show. Our topic for today is dealing with difficult people o yung mga taong mahirap kausap, mahirap pakisamahan. This is the G and Chandela Show. You're listening to Pinoy Podcast. It's G and Chandela on Pinoy Podcast.
And we're back. This is episode 22 of Pinoy Podcast. You're listening to the G and Chandler Show. We're live Monday to Saturday, 7 to 9 p.m. Manila time, 7 to 9 a.m. New York time. You can chat with us and listen live on PinoyPodcast.com slash live. We're also on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, SoundCloud, Blog Talk Radio, MySpace, and YouTube. This is G with Chandler. Welcome back. Hi. I would just like to say hi, people in the chat box who's chatting with us live. Oh, yeah. Bangitin mo sila. Say. It's D. Ibalibad ang pangalan ni D. And we have E0821. Thank you guys for listening. And you so always smile iba kong friends na nasa ibang dimension nakikinig. <laughs> ibang dimension. You know, yeah. Kasi yung ibang kong friends naka, naka-iPad, they cannot access though the, ano, siguro parang hindi kaya nung, nung iPad, something like that. iPad? Uh-uh. Um, let me check on that. Kasi supposedly the speaker player is compatible with iPad. Android and uh, other devices, mm. but let me check. Sige. So, so they're yeah. using an iPad to yeah. listen. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So, so kanina to- na pag-usapan namin ni Shandala yung mga how to deal with difficult people in the workplace. Kasi Monday ngayon uh, start ng work week, and uh, I'm sure they're There's this there's one person in your workplace na mahirap kausap, mahirap pakisamahan and you're trying to see how you can, you know, how you can deal with them in a way na positive na hindi makaka, hindi makakasira sa iyo, hindi makakasira sa trabaho at uh, makakasira sa makaapekto sa ibang tao. So kanina sinabi namin na you should listen but don't mm-hmm. get dragged down and use a time limit for venting don't always agree don't stay silent and o- always move to problem solving in in the in the workplace okay so now shandala you said kanina na uh, now it's time to talk about dealing with difficult people in the household or at home yes okay so <laughs> 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 hindi mawawala yan uh, sa lahat naman ng p- pamilya meron mga meron tayong mga kapamilya na ma- mahirap pakitunguhan ma- mahirap pakisamahan at uh, kahit na tayo magkakamag-anak kahit na uh, sinasabi nila na ang Filipino family is uh, how do you describe it? Um, close to it closely knit. Uh-huh. Meron pa rin mga kamag-anak kasama sa bahay na mahirap pakisamahan, mahirap kausap or difficult. And hindi maalis 'yan. So kasi kahit na magkakamag-anak tayo, magkakapamilya, we are separate individuals. So there's no two people na alike. Yes. Okay, kahit sa mga mag-asawa, walang tao talaga na parehong pareho kayo. Mm-hmm. Although there's this thing called compatibility. Paano kung Yes. Paano kung yung itong quote and quote typical na to is yung kasama mo mismo sa bahay at katabi mo sa kama gabi-gabi. Oh. Paano um... yan? <laughs> So you're talking about uh, a difficult spouse. Yeah, yung partner mo. Okay. All right, mostly naman kasi uh, a difficult spouse is acting that way maybe because you did something. It's just her or his reaction to what you did or what you are doing. Uh, 
Yeah. Is that the kind of difficult person that you're talking about? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Diba, mayroon mga gano'n na asawa or partner mo na you're living together. Tapos parang halos lahat na lang ng bagay, hindi niyo mapagkasunduan. Oh, you always fight. Oo, yung, yung maliit na bagay, pinag-aawayan nyo. Kahit liit ang bagay, pinag-aawayan nyo. Yung mag-spark ng... Minsan, hindi mo nga alam kung umahanap na lang ng butas para awayin ka. Mm. Okay. Yung tipong well, pati yung... Kasi I have this, ano... Um, may kilala ako ng couple na ganyan eh. Mm-hmm. Na ultimong... Mm what do you call this? Ultimong yung, kunay, they're out eating dinner in a restaurant. Okay. Ultimo yung pagsubo ng guy, pupunahin niya yun. Ano mo yun? Yung ganon? <laughs> Ultimo yung pagmumanahin. Oh, that's, ano na, that's nitpicking na. Oh, parang, di ba, nakaka, nakaka-visit yung ganon. Sometimes when I watch them, when I'm with them, parang, Buti nakakatiis tong Minsan iniisip ko nga eh, wala kayang kalaguyo itong si Mister? Kasi kung ako lalaki, hindi ko gugustuhin umuwi sa ganitong bahay na... There's this one time, uh, galing siya sa work and I was there. Mm-hmm. Sabi niya. Uh, Honey, um, magtimpla mo naman ako ng kape. Parang gano'n, nag- naglalambing. Mm-hmm. Bakit? Nasa akin ba yung kape? Eh, hawak ko ba yung tasa? Pagtimpla mo yung sarili mo kung gusto mo ng kape. <laughs> ano yun? Pabiro o seryoso? Seryoso yun! Ano ko ba? <laughs> ano sabi ko? Ah, sige, una na ako. Ha. Total, gabi na rin naman. Medyo late na. Ano ako ah? Ano ba yan? Walang ako yung naaalangan. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. How do you deal with that? Ikaw, bitch na laki. Kung ginaganon ka ng partner mo. Um, ako, ang suggestion ko pag ganun is open the dialogue. Like, you should really uh-huh. sit down and talk about the problem. And, you know, you should really tell the other person uh, ano yung effect nun na sa'yo. Halimbawa, eh, uh, you feel harassed. Uh-huh. Kasi, sa tingin ko, ang household o ang bahay, eh, yung, yan ang, dapat yan ang yung, ano, eh, refuge, eh. That's the last place in the world na pwede kang magtago or that will be the pl- that will be your last uh, place na supposedly that's your comfort area that's that's a place na you will receive dapat comfort love you know Gee, That's meron, the last place na dapat kang maharas That's the last place Meron pa nga kun ano kakilala na couple din na like the girl is working tapos yung guy is like um nandun lang sa bahay i don't know if he's jobless or just doing his own thing na kumikita siya by doing what he loves na hindi niya kailangan magtrabaho talaga tapos um ang pahinga ng girl sa work is sunday lang sabi ng girl is like uh Babe, ano naman, ipat mo naman sa Channel 7. Kasi tuwing, tuwing um, Sabado lang naman ako nakakapanood ng TV. Sabi ng guy, Bakit ba mas marunong ka pa sa akin? Eh, TV ko yan. Oh. <laughs> Tapos one time, um, natulog ata yung guy na marumi yung paa. Mm-hmm. Sabi ng girl, Maghugas ka naman ng paa bago matulog kasi kakapalit ko lang ng, ng linyens. Sabi ng guy, e eh, kaya nga may labandera, diba? At sa kama ko to. Ba't ba mas wow. malo? Diba? Oh my God, sabi ko, gosh, what are you doing there? Alam mo, <laughs> magbalot-balot ka na, lumayas ka na, diba? I mean, I don't know kung ano nangyari. Uh, that is really like, Tapos ito pa, ito pa. G. Hmm. Um, nawalan siya ng kabaho yung girl. Okay. Alam mo, sabi sa kanya nung guy, 
binigyan siya ng ultimatum. If by June 1st, wala ka pang sabaho, umuwi ka na muna sa inyo. Wow. Diba? Alam mo, talaga... That's a big blow. Nanikip yung dibdib ko doon. Parang, grabe naman yun. Oh, hindi sila kasal, wala silang anak. Pero kahit na, diba? So, hindi sila kasal? Walang anak. Pero they're living yeah. together. And why is the girl still saying there? Siguro, mahal niya. I don't know. Diba? But she's taking abuse. Eh, yun yung konsepto niya ng pagmamahal eh. Being a martyr? I don't know if that's... Alam mo kasi, ibang, iba, iba iba naman kasi ang pagmamahal ng bawat tao. Diba? Um, kunwari, may battered wife. Sasabi mo sa kanya, binubugbog ka, sinasaktan ka, bakit hindi mo pa iwan? Sasagot lang sa'yo kasi mahal ko siya. Yun yung pagmamahal para sa kanya eh. Hindi pong kahit... Alam mo, there's a... Mm-hmm. There's a thin line that divides or separates um, loving and, you know, being stupid. So that is being stupid. I mean, if you're taking abuse and you mistake that for loving... You should really consult a a counselor or you know a a, a psychiatrist. You know, I mean, uh, maybe a um, a um, um, a marriage counselor who could help you. Okay. Ano mo hindi ko na alam ko ano nangyari. Then pero sana naman naka nakaadis na siya sa ganon situation. That's really so in this case, ang difficult person yung lalaki. Yes, the guy. Yeah. Kasi ano yan eh, parang bullying na rin yan eh. uh, What we call emotional bullying. Mm-hmm. Even even uh, guys uh, in, in marriages are sometimes being bullied. Emotional bullied. Mm-hmm. So um, let's say, let's say um, the, the wife or woman is always nagging, nitpicking, mm-hmm. and you know, fault finding. That's, that's a uh, emotional abuse. Ikaw ba tatagal ka sa ganon? Well, mm, <laughs> there are many factors why uh, couples stay together despite you know that that pro- those problems. Uh huh. We we really cannot uh, have a uh, we cannot really uh, generalize or have a blanket explanation for everything. But if you are abused. And the abuse is uh, co- continuing, patuloy pa rin, despite ng um, pagpaprotesta mo. Then you should really think about, you know, yourself and how it's affecting your your health, your mental health, your physical health. Because uh, those things can really cause uh, uh, ailments, you know. Mm-hmm. Naniniwala ka ba na ang emotional just, um, yeah. Uh, ang siguro lang dito sa akin no kwento ko na sinishare ko na um kwento ng couple na kakilala ko is siguro sabi mo nga sabi nga ni G in the chat box iwanan na yung ganyan ibaon ng buhay. <laughs> ibaon ng buhay, okay. <laughs> Siguro kasi at the time na yung for for years na ginaganon siya, wala siyang trabaho noon eh. Okay. So siguro ang payo ko lang sa mga babae diyan na nasa isang relasyon, kailangan independent din kayo financially. Kasi minsan, ang isang babae kaya lang naman naiipit sa ganang sitwasyon kasi wala siyang mapuntahan, wala siyang pera. Hindi niya alam kung pag-alis niya doon, paano niya bubuhay yung sarili niya. Diba? Yeah, that's a common problem. Mm-hmm. 
And ito so pa. you're saying na uh, women Jeez. should uh, go to work? Yes. I mean, I mean, in, at this age and time, um, women really work. I mean, uh, especially now in uh, difficult economic times, talagang uh, minsan hindi sapat talaga na isa lang ang nagtatarbaho sa bahay. Pero mm-hmm. ang yung ang point mo eh tungkol doon sa uh, uh, financial independence of, of a woman? Yes. Kasi kung ginaganon ka na, alam mo nangyari pa noon, isang uh, isang gabi tumawag sa akin yan, umiiyak. Puntahan ko daw siya. Alam mo kasi kung anong ginawa ng partner niya, hinagis yung mga damit niya sa labas ng bahay at pinapalaya siya. I think that's ano na yun, uh, very abusive na yun. Yes. And to think at the time, alam mo yun, nung parang ni Piso, wala siya sa bulsa niya. So sabi ko sa kanya, why don't you work? May pinag-aralan ka naman. Maganda ka naman. Bakit nagtitiis ka sa ganyang klaseng lalaki? Marami ka pong makikita ang iba. Meron din so, akong kaibigan na ano, na similar sa ganyan um, meron namang trabaho yung babae May, meron sila mga anak pero ang problema ng lalaki is uh, yung kanyang temper mm-hmm. talagang minsan daw minumura pati bata minsan uh, hindi lang nabuksan ang gate ng within one me yung alam mo ba yung pag kumatok ka sa gate diba pag bubuksan ka ng gate mm-hmm. pero ito umuwi siya ng isang araw na Hindi lang ma- hindi lang kaagad na buksan yung gate, talagang nag- nagwala yung ano, yung tatay. Really? Okay. Yeah. So I mean, that's a di- that's a difficult person to deal with, right? I mean, yes. pag may kasama kang ganyan sa bahay, tingin mo makaka-relax ka ba? Hindi. Hindi, 'di ba? <laughs> I mean, you you'll be always <laughs> on your toes like you're like walking on eggshells, like ano kaya pwedeng gawin nito pag ginawa ko to or hindi ko agad nagawa ito. Alam mo yon yung ma- mahirap talaga. And sometimes, um, mayroong, pinag- mayroong pinagmumulan ito eh. Alam mo yung frustration sa workplace, inuwi sa bahay, or treating mm-hmm. children as employees. Di ba? Halimbawa, Bye. mayroon mga person in the military, pagdating sa bahay, ginagawang mga sundalo yung mga anak. <laughs> oh, kaya naman yung, oh. yung boss mo kaya nabukang pagpasok mo mainit yung ulo sigurado na bungangaan ng asawa yon nung gabi <laughs> malamang or or hindi na pagbigyan sa kama dalawa lang yan <laughs> pwede pwede <laughs> <laughs> tama ba <diba? laughs> <laughs> Maraming dahilan talaga uh, kasi ang ang buhay ay hindi kahon, hindi de kahon ang buhay, hindi ang buhay kasi hindi 1 plus 1 equals 2 eh. Mm-hmm. It's 1 plus 1 equals 3. Mhm. Ibig sabihin sa ang life is not something you can really treat as a, a Lego, yung uh, pagdidikit-dikit mo to and therefore you will have a predictable outcome, right? Mhm. Kasi pag mayroon kang uh, Lego, you know, you can you can create things by just putting things together, yun na yun. And it's, it's gonna be like that. Pero ang buhay, hindi ganun. So, when you deal with difficult people, you should know uh, where they're coming from. Like, yung sinabi mo nga, pag yung boss mo mainit ang ulo, siguro ganito, ganyan, mayroon problema sa bahay. Mayroon naman na... Uh, kasama tayo sa bahay or mga kapamilya na pag uwi sa bahay mainit ang ulo palagi minsan inuwi nila yung problema from work or meron silang mga frustrations about their co-workers uh, binubuhos naman sa anak o sa asawa what if naman ano G ang difficult person you have to deal with is your biyanan oh okay that's <laughs> <laughs> uh, you always put me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> hindi, okay. hindi ito ah. Mga I'm in-laws, not, mga in um, Okay. Oo, I'm not trying to to pinpoint anyone in particular. It, okay. Ako kasi I I 
fervently believe na um, no matter kahit gano kang kabait bilang isang manugang, may masasabi at masasabi sa iyo ang biyanan mo kahit konti. Sigurado yan. Sigurado yan. Uh, Huh? Uh, kaya nga, di ba, uh, it's, it's a very popular uh, jokes, yung mga in-laws jokes, di ba? Mm-hmm. Yung mga jokes tukas sa mga well, the, the thing is, how you deal with this kind of ano, in-laws? Di ba, supposedly, dapat yan, pangalawang magulang mo na yan. And, kun, kun, kukontinue ko yung story ng couple na kilala ko. Okay, sige. Hindi Tuloy lang mo. yung partner niya, hindi lang yung partner niya ang difficult to deal with. kasama na yung biyanan niyang hilaw na babae. You know why? One time. Okay, why? She was telling me, nasa dining table sila and they were like having, you know, some drinks. So, kaharap daw silang, kasi ang anak nung biyanan biyanan niya is tatlong lalaki. Okay. So, yung tatlong asawa noon, Nandun, kasama si Bian ng babae. Parang nag, nagbabanding sila. Tapos sabi daw, okay. sabi daw nung Bian niyang babae. Alam mo, hindi ko nga maintindihan. Sabi daw ganun. Yung mga anak kong yan, pinag-aral ko sa magandang eskwelahan. Ang malas ko sa mga manugang ko. Oh. Kahagap sila, ha? Oh, Really? Yeah, alam mo sabi nung isa, nung isang nung isang manugang daw na asawa nung bunso na anak nung mm. nung biyanan. Mm. Bakit po nai? Kami ba swerte sa mga anak nyo? <laughs> oh, talaga? Oo, oo so, so bum- bumelta itong ano, itong isa ano. Oo, pa paano ba pakikisamahan yung ganun? I mean, it's not polite. na lumaban ka sa mas matanda sa'yo, lalo na kung magulang yan ang asawa mo. Pero kung yung gano'n na harap-harapan, na, um, alam mo yon yung hindi ka lang daw makapag, makagising ng maaga, or makapagwalis-walis sa umaga. Sabi ko nga, ba't hindi kayo umalis doon sa bahay na yon Bumukod oh, kayo. sa bahay ng biyanan. Masama sila doon, extended family. Siguro apat ah, na pamilya sila doon. mahirap yung ganun. Kasi, kasi hindi, ka nakasi, hindi ka nakahiwalay eh. Supposedly kasi, ang isang mag-asawa, nakahiwalay na sa ano yan, sa bahay. Pero siyempre, hindi naman natin, ma, hindi naman natin malalahat kasi nga, meron mga sitwasyon na kailangan mong tumira sa bahay ng biyanan mo. Oh. Alam mo, nakikita ko naman yung situation nila kahit Kaya naman nilang bumukod eh. Kaya mm-hmm. lang, itong, itong binan-binanan nung friend ko is sila yung ayaw paalisin. Ha? Huh? Bakit? Oo. Oh, oh. Kasi because of the apo. The kid is really horrible. The kid is really guapo and so bibo. Na parang ayaw nilang malayo yung apo sa kanila, yung mga apo nila sa kanila. So, sige, sama-sama tayo dito. I think they're being selfish. Yan nga. Alam mo, yung gustong-gusto na nung isang girl na nasabi niya dun sa husband niya na tara na, alis na tayo dito, ganyan-ganyan. Alam mo, kung gusto lang nila ng bata na cute, bakit hindi, hindi sila gumawa ng bata? Sar- gumawa ng sariling baby? <laughs> eh, kung matanda na, G, ano ka ba? Magbubuntis ka pa ba at the age of 55? Eh, mag eh, siya. Gusto niya ng baby. Eh, di mag- magka-baby siya. <laughs> Oh, so, how do you deal with that? Sa ganong biyanan. Yung sasabihin sa'yo, halap-halap pa, na malas ka sa manugang ko. Alam mo, that's abusive. Dapat tigilan yan. Mm-hmm. Kahit na ano pa yan, kahit na, kahit na biyanan mo pa, kung ka talagang meron siyang ginagawa mali, eh, sabihin mo. Kasi hindi nakakatulong para sa kanya yan. Eh. At marami, marami pa siya masasagasaan na tao dahil sa ganyan. Kasi yung pagiging biyanan niya is an effect of her being the mother or her dad or of, 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 of your wife or of your husband. Mm-hmm. It's, not, it's, not some, it's not a position he or she earned. Yes. Okay. okay. I mean, it's just an effect of, of the marriage. It's not something she or he earned. 
Wala ka so, lang siya. Ibi- eh, no? uh, 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 pa- ano yun? Wala ka lang choice eh. Yan ang natay mo eh. Di yun, oh, yun oh, Wala ko. kang choice. I mean, uh, sabi nga nila, you, you, can, you can choose your friends but not your, your relatives. So, <clears throat> so, in that case, um, you really have to be uh, frank. You know? Dapat frank ka, ka na hindi po kami, hindi ko po gustuhan yung sinabi mo. Uh, I respect you as uh, my mother-in-law. But, I think yung sinabi mo is not really nice, you know. Uh, nakakasakit, nakakasakit uh, ng damdamin at um, yun, just, just, just be frank. Kasi pag di mo pinarangkahan, that, uh, that will continue, that will go on. Uh, being frank without being disrespectful naman, ano? Yeah, be, be respectful but be honest, be frank. Sabihin mo kung nasaktan ka para hindi na maulit. Kasi kapag inulit-ulit pa yan, it could get worse. Hindi, minsan, alam mo naman yung mga biyanan, hindi ko naman nila lahat, ano. Kahit nasa katwila ka, sabihin, ah, sumasagot-sagot ka pa. <laughs> <laughs> Oo, oh, syempre, lumalabas yung pagka-parent nila. <laughs> Saka, alam mo yun, yung tipong tingin nila doon sa anak nila for all, ano, forever baby. Yeah, uh, binibaby yung anak, akala nila, baby pa nila yung anak nila, which is not really right kasi dapat talaga bumukod na yung, ano, yung mga bagong, bagong asawa, bagong kasal. Lalo na sa film society. Time, eh, mm-hmm. One time pa nga nagluto yung, yung isang girl ng, nag, nag-exert ba siya ng effort magluto kahit hindi naman siya ganun marunong. <laughs> Sabi daw nung binang binana niya, titinikman ng asawa. Okay naman na. Sabi ng binana niya, patikim nga. Mm-hmm. Eh, ito sinigang daw. Sinigang daw yung niluto niya. Ano to? Sinigang po. Sinigang ba to yung lasang nilaga? Sabi niya nga. Nakahurt naman. Nakahurt naman yun. O, oh, alam mo daw ginawa nung binan-binanan niya kay Noa si Tasa na may supposed na sinigang. Nilagay sa lababo. Hindi naman tinapon. Nilagay sa lababo at nagluto ng panibago. Sino so, nagluto yung binan? Oo. Oh, oh, ito, anak, ito ang kainin mo pagkaluto daw. Ayan, at least talagang alam mo sinigang ang lasa. Ganyan ang oh, sinigang, oh. ha? Grabe naman yan. Oo, oh, oh, grabe talaga. Alam mo yun, talagang uusok yung tenga mo sa galit, ba? <laughs> Pero ako, ako lang ang payo ko, ha? Ang payo ko lang um, sa mga mag-asawa na may mga ganyang klaseng biyanan, huwag nyo na pong patulan. Mm-hmm. Uh, huwag nang patulan. Isipin nyo na lang po na yung asawa nyo ay hindi magiging tao kung hindi dahil sa mga biyanan nyo. At saka, parang ano na yan, eh. Parang pangalawang magulang nyo na yan, eh. Dapat, kapag... Minahal mo yung isang tao, pinakasalan mo, katulad ng asawa mo. Lahat din ng mga tao na nasa paligid niya, pag-aralan mong mahalin. Yan. Pag-aralan. Pwede naman pag-aralan yan eh. Oh. Yes. At kung hindi mo, kung hindi mo ito makuha sa diplomasya, lahat na sa tingin mo, ginawa mo para makuha mo yung loob nila, tahimik ka na lang po. Huwag ka nang sumagot. Yung asawa mo ang kausapin mo para yung asawa mo ang kakausap dun sa magulang niya. Yan ang tamang gawin. No. Diplomasya, marunong kang gumamit ng communication channels. Yes. Mahirap din kasi yung sugod ng sugod eh, di ba? So, gamitin yes. mong channel yung sino ang the best person na pwedeng kumuusap sa kanila. Kasi alam mo, G, kung halimbawa pinatulan mo yung biyanan mo at nalaman niya ng asawa mo, hindi ka naman makakasiguro na yung asawa mo kakampi sa'yo eh. Kahit sampu pa yung anak niyo. Yeah, once na inaway mo yung ano, yung parent niya. Oo. Mm. I mean, syempre mas mas ma, mas malapot ang dugo minsan eh. Oo, sisipain ka nyang palabas pag hindi ka <laughs> <laughs> palabas ng bahay niya pag hindi ka. So, kailangan ano, kailangan you know, parang beauty queen. Ano mo 'yon? Kahit na masakit na mga nararamdaman mo, wala pa ring magra-radiant sa labas mo kundi kagandahan, mm. ganun lang. Kasi once you lose your cool, That could mm-hmm. backfire, you know. Yes. So don't lose your cool. Always, always think smart. 
Think yes. straight. Huwag yes. kayong manlalabo ng mata. Huwag kayong manla- magdidilim ng paningin. Mahirap uh-huh. po yan. Pag hindi niya nakaya, ganito lang. Inhale, exhale, mm-hmm. inhale, exhale. At saka, mm-hmm. kung tingin mo hindi mo talaga kaya, mag-excuse ka na lang. Excuse me po. Pasok na po. Yeah. Sa kwarto, ganun. Yeah. When when the conversation on the dinner table becomes nasty or hindi maganda, you can mm. always leave, you know? Yes. I mean, you don't have to endure you, you don't have to, you know, endure the torture of staying there on the dinner table while, you know, everybody else is talking like, you know, in in not in a nice way. Mhm. You would only torture yourself. Ha, ano mo, feeling ko naman kasi lalo na kapag yung kapag yung biyanan mo, I mean yung 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 parent ang ang anak nila is yung lalaki. Feeling ko lang ha, correct me if I'm wrong, G. Mhm. Walang babaeng deserving para sa anak nila, sa tingin nila. Um, hindi ko masabi kung at totoo first, 'yan. At um, first, is at first at first at the beginning of the relationship yeah yeah i mean i think maybe it's because of the mother's instinct to be protective mm-hmm. i think it's a mother's instinct instinct of uh protecting you know his i mean i mean her child and um although i tend to believe in some cases talaga nakakasundo yan at the start pero gaya ng sinabi mo Um, some mother-in-laws are really binibaby talaga yung kanilang mga anak lalo na paglalaki yes oo paglalaki lalo hmm. so yun gaya yung sinabi mo um, the in-laws could be a potentially a s- source of uh, like difficult situations mhm And uh, what you said was really very, very good. Na wag na patulan, be be respectful, or if you really need to speak out, you have to use the right channels. Yes. Which is, you could use, you could ask ask your spouse to talk to 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 them, uh, if you really want to express your sentiments. You know, if you were hurt. And if you really need to talk to directly to your, your in-laws, just make sure na ano ka uh, very um, diplomatic ka, okay? Right. At hindi ka hindi ka magkikipag-away kasi wala po tayo masosob sa pagkikipag-away. <laughs> <laughs> yes, tama. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so if you just listen, uh, this is the Gian Chandela Show and Pinoy Podcast. Our topic is how to deal with difficult people, and uh, you can listen to us live on PinoyPodcast.com/slash live. All right. So, ano po ba ang mga naisip mong difficult people? Um, we've talked about the work area. We've talked about the household. Sa social life naman tayo to. Social life? Okay. What can you think of? Yung mga ingiterang kaibigan. <laughs> o oh, sige. Ano? <laughs> Umpisahan mo. <laughs> Umpisahan ko. Sa mga babae, maraming ganyan eh. Ano mo yung tipong, <laughs> yung tipong pagkaharap mo? Oh my God, you look so gorgeous! Uh-huh. That color is really you. Pagtalikot okay. niya. Baduy, baduy naman. Sa mga kaya nang nabili yun? <laughs> ano ko yung ganon? Tapos makakarating sa'yo, may magsasabi sa yung kaibigan mo na ganon, na yung common friend nyo, na pinaplastic ka lang ni Miss X. Uh-huh. ba diba? And, hindi mo alam ngayon kung maniniwala ka doon sa common friend nyo na nagsasabi ng ganon, kasi pagkaharap mo si Miss X, okay naman. Totoo ba yung narinig ko na pag nakikita-kita ko yung mga babae, ano ba mga kaibigan nyo, uh, you always compare yourself to what they wear? Um, or yung makeup nila? 
wait hindi masyado I mean siguro merong instance na gano'n na panag kumpul-kumpul ang mga babae um, ano ba pinag-uusapan uh, vocally na yung mga suot nila mga accessories nila or dun lang sa mind nila sila nagko-compare sa mind nila sa mind nila Ah, yeah. May, may ganyan din ako. Pero, ano, yung tipong ang ganda ng shoes niya. Saan niya kaya nabili yun? Ganyan. Or, oh, may, okay. san, hindi hindi naman negative, ano? May negative din. May negative din na, ano, na yung parang what the hell is she wearing? <laughs> parang ganun. Ay, kung mas maganda sa'yo. Ay, ako kasi uh, marunong ako mag-appreciate, eh. Nang kapwa ako babae. Oh. Okay. Pag, pag talagang mas maganda sa akin, tanggap ko yan, mas maganda sa akin, sinasabi ko. Mm-hmm. Pero pag hindi, at ganda-gandahan lang, <laughs> at the back of my mind, yeah, okay. <laughs> Pero hindi, <laughs> alam mo, there's, there's ano pa, one topic na pag nagkumpul-kumpul ang mga babae, yung pinag-uusapan nila, alam mo kung ano? Ano? They compare notes. Compare notes about We talk what? about We talk about our guys <laughs> Our men Oh, okay yes. We talk about our guys right. Ang mga laki hindi ganyan we, 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 we tend to keep that a secret Oh, come on I mean, we don't compare notes Like you Oh, come on You're pulling my big glass I mean, siguro yung, yung iba magbibida sila, pero we don't compare. Like, we don't really talk about uh, girls na in that way. <laughs> so, mas malala pala <laughs> kami. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Alam mo yung ABS-CBN? Ah. Uh, yung sa lalaki, ABS. Alak, babae, sugal? Sa babae, CBN. Ano yung CBN? Chismis Bungangera Nager. Grabe ka naman! <laughs> Nabasa ko lang yan. Hindi, hindi ko naman pinaniwalaan yun eh. <laughs> Chismosa ba kami? Uy, hindi kayo nga mas chismoso eh. Napanood ko sa Jessica Soho nung nakaraang linggo na uh-huh. kaya nga nagkaroon ng kwentong kutsero. Kasi yung mga kutsero, yung, yung ano... Kutsero, ano ba yung, yung kalesa, yung driver ng kalesa. Uh-huh. Pag, yan may pag, may, pag yan may pasahero at nakikini, naririnig niya nagkakwentuhan, ipapasa niya ngayon yan dun sa ibang pasahero niya or dun sa kapwa kutsero niya. Kaya kwentong <laughs> kutsero. So, ang kwentong kutsero ay uh, uh, reliable at credible. Eh, siyempre, alam mo naman ang kwento ko. Dagdag bawas yan eh. <laughs> diba? Tama ka dyan, tama ka dyan. Oh, The, so... Um, kapag pinasapasa na yung balita, naiba na talaga yung balita. Oh. Ito, lang, ito lang ang tip ko sa mga babae na walang trabaho, nasa bahay lang, okay. homemaker, para maiwasan nyo yung chismis. Para maiwasan yung chismis. Hawakan ng walis. Hawakan ng walis? Oo, oh, maglinis ka ng bahay kaysa makipagchismisan ka, di ba? Tama yan. Oh. Be, be, be busy, be productive. Oo, oh, kasi napanood. Alam mo, pag marami kang ginagawa, wala ka ng oras sa chismis eh. Napanood ko din oh. sa Jessica Soho noong linggo. Alam mo ba? Yung, yung babae doon na na-feature na aminado siya ha at proud pa siya na siya daw ang, ang, ang chismosa ng kanilang barangay. <laughs> na siguro ang ini-spend niya doon is ano, five to six hours a day na nasa kali siya. Lahat <laughs> ng chismis nasa sagap niya. Alam mo ano nangyari sa kanya? Ano nangyari? Merong, merong isang chismis niya na pinatulan siya. Kinagat yung tenga niya. Ala, holy field. Tanggal ang tenga. <laughs> Parang Mike Tyson? Oo, at holy field ang nangyari. Tanggal. Tanggal si tenga. Oh. Eh ngayon, eh, ngayon wala, wala na siyang marinig, marinig at chismis ngayon. 
Hindi so, naman wala, wala lahat. Yan. Pingasan lang naman ng ano, konti. Kaya lang irregular na yung shape. <laughs> <laughs> Alam mo, hindi ko lang matatawa ako, maawa ako. <laughs> Patawa ka na lang. <laughs> Ayan po, kaya dapat maging leksyon yan. Huwag po tayo maging chismosa. Yeah. Okay. Let's all be productive, you know? Use your time wisely. At wag na magkakat ng mga chismis. Alam mo, yung chismis na ano eh, yung chismis na, huy, si ano pala na promote, ang galing ano, hindi niya. Ang ganda, yan, ang ganda chismis. Oh. Hindi, huy, nakita ko si Jidon, alam mo ba? Galing dun sa kanilang, sa kabilang pinto kanina madaling araw. <laughs> <laughs> o yung mga ganun chismis, iwan ko na yun, diba? <laughs> Ito talaga yung example. Yung may puri, laban oh. kay G. <laughs> Oo. Ikaw talaga example eh, no? Oo oh, nga eh. Mayroong nag-type sa chat box sa Spreaker. Oh, ano daw? Sabi niya, uh, her name is Sasa. Sabi niya, okay. this is my first time listening to the show. And sabi niya, um, kasi kanina we were discussing yung yung example mo ng um, yung friend mo na ina-abuse na ng lalaki. Mm-hmm. Hindi pa siya umihiwalay. Ang sabi niya, uh, or yung mga difficult persons, ang topic kanina, ang sabi niya, may pinaghugutan yan pag ganyan. Try to understand where the other person is coming from. Baka naman pagod na pagod na siya, household work, tapos utusan mo pa. Siguro, yeah. she's talking about uh, yung wife na ano na nagganag. Yes. Kasi pagod na pagod na nga yung diba, wife, sabi- tapos utusan mo pa, so... Ay, yung, baka yung pinagtitimpla ng kape. <laughs> saan yan? Saan yan? Yung kanina? Oo. Baka nga yung ano, <laughs> oh, yung oh, baka nga yung, ng kape. Nga, diba? Oo, oh, yun, yun nga yun, yun nga yun. So sabi niya, baka naman, baka naman pagod na pagod na siya sa household work, tapos utusan mo pa. So... Don't make it more difficult for other people to be with you. Yun lang ang tip ko, tip ko uh, as we end the episode. Yes. Don't become the difficult person. Mm-hmm. Okay? You can you can deal with difficult people by using the tips that we to, that we shared kanina, yung mga tips na binigay namin kanina which are as I summarize them, um, listen But don't yes. get dragged down. Listen, mm-hmm. but use a ta- use a limit, use a time limit for venting. Okay. Okay. Don't always agree. Because that will only feed fuel to, to the fire. Don't stay silent. You should speak out. Okay. Mm-hmm. Tell the tell the other person uh, uh, you're having a difficult time dealing with him or with her. And The best tip, the best tip na masishare ko is don't become that difficult person. Yes. Mm-hmm. Don't make life miserable for others. Mm-hmm. Make life enjoyable for them. Without <laughs> yourself being abused. Right. Ikaw, what's your tip na your last tip na mabibigay mo sa mga ating mga listeners. Yan kasi nag-enumerate ka, no? Sa akin, <laughs> alam mo naman, between the two of us, ikaw yung ano eh, ikaw yung idealistic. Ako <laughs> okay. yung realistic. Okay. Sige. Diba? Oh, sige. Parang hindi ka, hindi ka ano, hindi ka agree doon, ha? Agree. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sa akin, On my end, ang masasabi ko lang din sa mga difficult people na nakakasalamuhan nyo sa araw-araw. Okay? Um, sabi mo nga, you listen. Tama yun. Pakinggan nyo. Baka hindi mo alam, um, nandun ka sa sitwasyong yon at that time na ikaw yung nakikinig sa kanya at ikaw yung napili niyang gusto niyang makinig sa kanya kasi baka mali mo ikaw yung makatulong. 
ikaw yung makatulong doon sa sitwasyon kung bakit siya ganon. Baka talagang kailangan lang niya ng, ng uh, matinong kausap or nung talagang makikinig sa kanya. And sa mga ganitong pagkakataon, um, dapat din na ano eh, na ano mo yun, G, paano ba yun sasabihin yun? Ah, uh, iwasan mo rin na ano na yung yung ikaw yung hilahin niya yes ah uh, diba dapat don't be ikaw yung now. oh ikaw yung humila sa kanya sa pagiging positive yeah yes. so And, instead of being pulled down you pull mm-hmm. them up towards yes. being positive yeah and ano um Bigyan mo ng mga gandang example. Yung ikaw sa sarili mo, gawin mo magandang example para sa kanya. Para magkaroon siya ng ibang perspective. Yes. Yun ako, pwedeng ilagay mo yung mata mo sa mata niya para makita niya ng iba yung panigid niya, gawin mo. Mm-hmm. Lead ano by mo? example. Yeah, huwag mong ipagdamot yung kanigayahan, yung kung ano man na maganda yung nararamdaman mo. I pamahagi mo yan para kumalat. Pay it forward. Yes. That's the best way na nakikita natin na how to deal with difficult people. Yeah. So guys, we'll be back tomorrow. Okay. Same time, same channel. Tonightpodcast.com slash live. You're listening to the G and Chandler show on Panay Podcast. Our topic for today was how to deal with difficult people. And um, all I can say is live life fully, be positive, and share things that will uplift people and improve their lives. This is the Pinay Podcast, your source of positive, inspiring, motivational talk and music. So, Shanela. Yeah? Any last words for our audience? Any last words? Well, thank you all for listening and I'll leave you with this quote. Everything happens in due time, not before in due time okay good night see you tomorrow it's g and shandela on tonight podcast